Hello and welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. My name is Drew and today I'll be recapping all of the cars that we have done reviews of so far. Leave a comment if you see any cars that you would like to have a review of or if you'd like us to do something different with a car we have already reviewed, we could do that as well. To get started, we'll start off with this Demon right here. This car was in our video, Can the Dodge Demon Handle Winter? Thing is stupid fast. I love this car. Tires are way too cold and they're also all slightly flat. Perfect tire pressure. <laughs> Perfect for race. Then a little bit. Got Patrick. Patrick. He's not strapped in. He's got the bag there though. He's good enough. He's got, of course we want demon mode. One of the first videos we made, first drive Ford Model T. There you go. Don't stop. Pretty quick. Well, it has like 12 horsepower, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know what else. Sweet. I'm gonna see if I can back up. Open. It's okay, it's only a hundred <laughs> years old. Our 58 Edsel Pacer, it was in the video, why the 1958 Edsel is weirder than Doug DeMuro. This is a 1958 Edsel Pacer, and it's one of the strangest cars ever made. The 1956 Continental, that was in our video, America's most expensive luxury car in the late 50s. It debuted in, of all places, in Paris, France. It didn't debut here in the United States. I think it's October of 1955, and then later, debuted it in uh, Michigan at the Ford Ford plant, I guess. But it was a car that the movie stars loved. I know, well, and Elvis Presley had one, and Frank Sinatra, Sinatra. And, and then I'd read where Warner Brothers gifted one to Elizabeth Taylor and had it mm. painted in a deep blue to match her eyes. Huh. So I thought that was a pretty cool story. That is pretty cool. Who's Elizabeth Taylor? I, don't, I actually don't know who that Who's is. Who's Elizabeth Taylor? Oh my gosh. You know, it's kind of surprising. Elvis was such a Cadillac guy that he had... He had a Ford. Had a Ford, had a Continental. And he also had a Lehman Peterson limousine, Lincoln limousine, so... This was in our video, Barney Fife's Dream Car, 1954. Custom line. All right. <laughs> it's, all, it's all those horsepower is bucking. It is, yes. Let off way too early. This car does get a lot of looks. Yeah. I wonder the color really makes it pop out against all the gray and white cars today. Yeah.
our 1 of 69 50th anniversary Copo Camaro. Fuel. Twenty nineteen Porsche nine eleven GT two RS, which was in our video why the GT two RS is worth three hundred fifty thousand dollars. It'll go fast. All right, ready? Ooh, that's so that was <laughs> man. <laughs> my, face, my face was like pushed back. <laughs> A little bit like I was a like, oh going on the runway there for a minute. Yeah, that was horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I let off of it like immediately. Man, that was horrifying though, the the speed that we were going. What were we up to? Uh, we were only going 30. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Well, so like the wheels were spinning that about 100. Yeah, it <laughs> seemed like it. Uh, it didn't seem like it broke traction at all, so. But the thrust my, really put you back. My face it? really was like all the way back. <laughs> This car was in our video, Moving Supercars, part three. ZR1, Aventador, GT, and Z06 maybe? Congrats on being in your first video. Yay! I'm speed limit, 115. Oh, look at this, orange seat belts. Beautiful. Matches my eyes and my Fingernail polish. <laughs> Personality. All right, here we go. It's not gonna get any traction anyway. Shoot, that's yeah, that's pretty quick. And we never exceeded 15 miles an hour. Ferrari 458 was in our video, the ultimate daily driving supercar. The symbol for Modena at the time. Oh, I think I did remember reading that somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Take you for some authentic Italian food. Oh, yeah. Now that I got our authentic Little Caesars pizza. This probably has to be my favorite driving car of recent weeks. That's good. I think it's mine too. Not that any of them have been bad. True. Uh, the Ford GT was in the videos. Uh, the Battle of 2006, Ford versus Ferrari. And then it was in our Ford GT application video for the new GT. <laughs> My name's Ward Morgan. I'm the founder of the Midwest Dream Car Collection. What's your name? A little different cockpit. It is a lot different it's than still the Still got the bumps Ferrari. between the seats. It does have the speaker back there. And it has a Macintosh sound system. Straight out of a regular old 2006 Ford Focus or something. And then this car was also in that same video, uh, Ford versus Ferrari, Battle of 2006. It's got a lot of carbon on it too. Yeah. Carbon paddles. This is carbon the dash. carbon edition, I think, Ferrari. That's a car cover. Nice red Ferrari car cover. Look at that. There's your color. And then the Lamborghini Aventador, that's been in quite a few videos. Moving Supercars, part three. And then Lamborghini Road Trip to Oklahoma. Shout 
show up at his own show with his own car, I guess. So. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, right. dude. This this Chase. So what's your name? Drew. 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 Yeah. All right. Cool deal, man. Yeah. So go peace. film. How long has Hoovy been in this 1955 Buick? This car was restored it's partially, not like anything like that Ford. Yeah. So it's going to ride different. And, I mean, if I think if you had a really fully not fully restored Buick Special Riviera Coupe, styling-wise, this car is just it is stands out from a traditional Ford. It does look much better than a Ford. Cool. Look at. I was having a nap back here. <laughs> brakes are a little touchy there, Drew. Power brakes. Huh. Yeah, they are What's touched. this? This um, is a Buick? That's a Buick? <laughs> it's not a Park Avenue Ultra like you like. Oh, but, but it's a Buick. But it's a Buick special, yes. Those were the worst commercials ever, weren't they? <laughs> That's a Buick? Were you back there the whole time? I, I was. I showed up and you were huh. making a video and I just kind of took a nap, you know, I was presenting <laughs> you with a new car and you guys were busy, you didn't acknowledge my existence, as usual. <laughs> presenting us with a new car? Yes! I guess we'll have to go well, let's check go. it, it's back at the museum? It's a major piece of cultural history, <laughs> okay. so significant. I mean, this is going to be the Hope Diamond of your collection. Then the car that I think everybody wants to see, the Plymouth Grand Voyager, Pimp My Ride car. Look at that. Very impressive. Behold, a 1999 Plymouth Grand Voyager. Wow. Orphan branded Dodge Caravan. Yes? I love it. So, the owner of this van was down on our luck until exhibits and the people at uh, Galpin Auto Sports on Pimp My Ride came and pimped her ride. Beautiful. Yes. So you have a custom paint job rims, a body kit, which is maybe the only Plymouth Grand Voyager in the world with a body kit. I'd say it belongs in a... It er, belongs in a museum! It's like Harrison It Ford. does belong in a museum. Yeah. So yeah, this is the real magic here. You have a sofa in the back with a footrest that is also a television that becomes... Does it turn on? Aroused. Oh yes, all nine televisions in this thing work. You have <laughs> Three more right here, and you have a jewelry making station. This lights up as a disco floor and a laser light show. Wow. So like I said, let me know if you saw any cars that you would like to see a review of. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.